Welcome back everyone and today I have a package from Delightful Boutique. This was ordered uh, I want to say a good chunk of days before Christmas, possibly the month before, but certain things were on pre-order and from Australia with Delightful Boutique it takes like a month to arrive. So I'm very happy that they arrived safe and sound. I like the touch of putting fragile on the outside of the box. Um, as you can see they had some Christmas stickers and then when I opened the box I took the little sticky note out because it had my name but they had a little note attached to this which is a nice touch and then their information card which I can show y'all. Here's a little sneak peek. I'll pull out a couple things here and there. So the first thing that I'm really excited to finally have is this Marmo Sandwich Cookie. I tried purchasing this multiple times from different stores, um, but they always went out of stock. I am not a fan of white squishies just because they're so easy to stain, but this little guy was just so cute. He looks really soft. I like the packaging. It's, it's super cute. It says, I'm a marshmallow bear. And I'm actually really happy that his packaging, um, it's not a bag, it's one of the kind where um, they have a little stand at the bottom so he can stand up in his little packaging bag. Here is the squishy. It's very smooth here, I like that. Then he's super soft looking. It's got eye bloom on the back. Let's see how squishy he is. interesting. I expected him to feel like some of the bread squishies that I've gotten recently. Super soft, kind of spongy texture wise, but when you squeeze them they're very dough-like and have very little resistance. This however has a more plastic feel, possibly due to the paint on the cookie. Uh, the little bear is a lot softer and matte feeling, but He has a more plastic um, squish to it. I hope that makes some sense. But it reminds me a lot of older squishies. And I really like that. In addition to that, I, I can smell the chocolate scent from here. And he smells amazing. So wow, I'm really in I'm actually really impressed with this, honestly. I love the squish. It does not feel like any of the other squishies I've recently gotten from iBloom. And something that's not usually the case. I got one that's very scented of chocolate. It's a little chemical-like, so I'll leave him to air out. Um, but I'm very excited to add him to my collection. I've bought so many chocolate squishies from iBloom that I can kind of just differentiate between the different ones. This one is a lot sweeter, but it's, very, it's still very much a chocolate smell. Some chocolate smells have like a hint of it just to let you know that it's meant to be chocolate, but overall it's just like a sweet smell. This one is very chocolatey. Not like the chocolate pudding that the churro and some of the other ones have, but a little sweeter. It's still just as good and chocolatey though. Next, to keep with the little Marmo theme, here is the Ice Crepe. I've always wanted to try one of these in real life, but I've never gotten the chance to. I'm very happy to see that it comes in a box. I have been displaying um, some of these squishies that come in boxes that I now own. There's a barcode now. And yes, you guessed it, this is the chocolate version. I did not realize there would be tape, so let me get some scissors. Took the box out, it was kind of getting in the way. It has three pieces of tape at the top. Ah, is it? it? Looks like they taped it to the box. I don't know how I feel about that. I can understand why they would if they want to kind of keep it in, without shaking around, but now I have to destroy the bag just to get it out. I really hope I like this one because I'm destroying the packaging. <laughs> Let's get one squish in the bag. Ooh, it feels very soft. So I'm going to squish it without this because I don't want to ruin it, but there's a good look at it. It says Marshmallow Bear Strawberry Crepe by iBloom. Very cute. Here is the squishy. All the pink and the, the strawberry, the little chocolate scoop of ice cream. The little bear, of course. 
This one's nice, actually. I like that there's so many different textures around here because of the different paint styles that they used. So it says Eye Bloom right there at the bottom. Love the breading molding that I see both in the paint and the mold of the squishy. Um, the little dollops of cream all around have a more... It's like a mix between the glossy and the matte paints. Whereas little Marmo Bear is fully glossy. He very much has that kind of slightly sticky plastic feel, which is nice. The blueberries are matte, so is the strawberry, but then the chocolate dollop, I mean chocolate scoop of ice cream is just so plasticky and nice. I love it. So I actually wasn't sure what this was going to smell like, because um, I think when I selected it, it said, like, it said chocolate, because I think they went by the the chocolate ice cream, but it actually has a strawberry smell, it has the standard I bloom strawberry smell. It's very good, not very strong. You kind of have to put your face up to it to smell it, but it very much smells delicious, like the... I bloom strawberry. So really nice. I like this one a lot. Usually they're really good about giving you your invoice, but they didn't give me one this time. <laughs> they must have been really overwhelmed by the holiday season. So here's the next squishy I purchased. So this is the Pinnock Picnic Harajuku Soft and Sweet and Dreamy three-piece set of little donuts. Oyatsu the Donuts Squeeze, and you get a cute little box to go with it. I'll just assemble that in a bit, but I just want to see what they look like. So you get three in the box. I just thought that was a neat idea. I've gotten squishies like this before, some by actually Picnic, um, same company where you get multiple in the packaging, but the packaging itself makes it look like a real piece of food. And I believe these did have different flavors. First of all, you guys, this is so soft. It, gosh, how do I describe this? It's kind of hollow, but the actual material the squishy is made out of is spongy. It has the kind of banggood, cheap feeling, like matte, spongy. But it feels so hollow, so not only is it super squishy, I mean it's not the slowest, but it feels like it should be. These feel really nice, actually. I am impressed. The paint job is kind of cheap. It's very one coat. Not very realistic, but they look so cute. And I love the feeling of it. Let's see. I think they were trying to scent these because they definitely don't... Oh, this one has an air pocket right here that's really fun to poke at. Um, so this does have a scent. I think I may have to air these out because they're very plasticky, but... I kind of get a hint of coffee, so it makes me think that they wanted to go for a type of cacao smell. But it's kind of faint and it's very chemically, so I think I'm going to air this out and see what it smells like. Only one though. The rest I will save. But I have to say I'm very impressed with these. I don't know if Delight Food Boutique still has them. I, I haven't seen anyone else sell these in particular. Picnic is a brand that you can only really buy straight from Japan unless some other store carries stock of them. Their stuff tends to sell out unless it's not popular, but I think these were fairly popular in, in Japan. So um, if you can find these, I would recommend them. They're really cute. And I think they do come in different colors. Chocolate was not the only color. But yeah, the, the main thing I'm still interested about is the scent and... 
Yeah, it definitely kind of smells like leftover coffee beans or something. Very interesting. Very interested to see what it smells like later. And then you just assemble a little box. So super cute. I would definitely recommend these. I'm going to customize the box. That way it doesn't look so pink and it might fit in my room more. Because um, I definitely would love to have these as a display piece. I may have to do an updated room tour because I move stuff around and I very much like um, how it looks like now. Okay, before I get to the last three, because they're from the same company, I do want to point out an extra. I did not order this, so they must have given this to me as a very generous extra. This is the Xmas Snowy. I'm surprised they still have stock of this, honestly. <laughs> Snowy is definitely not as popular as um, the Creamy Candy Bear, but I think he's cuter. That said, he is white. I am not taking him out of the bag. But I believe he was made by iBloom, so he's really squishy, but he has that kind of denser, older iBloom feel to him. Still really slow rising, though. There's the back of the packaging. Let's see. Ooh, he has a scent, but I'm not sure what that is. It's very chemical-y, so he definitely needs to air out. Grapes, maybe? It, he kind of smells like grapes, but also medicine. So I, I can't confirm what he smells like. I want to say I did have him before, because I think they gave me him as an extra in a much older package, but I, I don't remember. It's been so long. The last three, I was feeling nostalgic, so I remember seeing these. One thing that's a little weird is these two have the brown and kind of yellow color scheme, but then this one has like really solid white ice cream. I think they really didn't do much of a good job um, quality-wise with this paint job. It's very, very two-dimensional. Uh, it doesn't look like there was much effort put into it. <laughs> So that's kind of disappointing. Squish factor as well. This donut, however, is so soft. So it looks like, like, like always, squishies tend to be this way, but with certain brands you expect a certain kind of quality, and it looks like they didn't really have quality control when it came to these. Nick, I'm disappointed in you, Nick. You make Cafe Diana. Those were pretty, pretty squishy. But I definitely like this donut. And then this cute little cream puff. This one is also super soft. Now I'm torn. I really wanted to keep this one because I just like the ice cream sandwich. But it's not too squishy. So I might just sell that one off and keep these two. I open the donut. Here is what it looks like out of the bag. So they have the matte finish that you'll see on a lot of Cafe Dian squishies and other Nick squishies recently. It kind of looks like they've toned down the detail in their paint jobs a lot. This is very flat and although there is some very nice detail in the bottom, just not at the top. but it's super squishy. Really cute. And then it has Bandai on the bottom because I believe this is a Bandai brand. Yeah, it's just an IC made them. Yeah, they all have Bandai on either the back or the bottom. They don't have the generic sweet smell either. I think they just smell like chemicals. It's not a strong chemical smell though, which is good. So I think these are just unscented. So I don't know about y'all, but I think this donut in particular would make a really cute um, like prop for miniature figures. You could use it as a floaty or a little seat take pictures with your figures sitting on it. I think that would look so cute. 
And that is it for this delightful boutique package. Some small stuff, but I was pleasantly surprised by items that I didn't think I would care too much about. Overall, I think everything but this little ice cream sandwich was a good squishy, but they all have their good qualities, especially cuteness wise. I just realized all this stuff is really cute. And I want to thank Delightful Boutique for the very generous full size squishy X. So I will leave links to all these products. Hopefully they're still available in, on Delightful Boutique's website. If not, I'll try to link um, possibly Charms LOL. That's the only other store I really shop from nowadays. So if you're interested in any of the products, do look in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.